Hello and welcome to the new ClickSense dashboard tutorial and in this dashboard tutorial what I'm showing you the healthcare dashboard named hospital the admission dashboard where we will going to look at the various hospital admission related KPIs like how many total admissions, planned admission, emergency admission, waitlist, so on and so forth, right? So this is basically for those who are as hospital administrator and want to understand the various high level KPIs and then want to drill down into the metrics like top five admission by speciality. So we will create this chart where we will see the top five speciality like the general medicine, general surgery, pediatrics, so on and so forth and the information by male, female and the unknown gender. So that basically tells us whether males are coming more, females are coming more or the unknown gender is coming more which is in this case is very less. Then we have charts like average length of stay, average wait time, right and in which speciality. So average length of stay is the hi highest in the uh, forensic psychiatry, right? So that is the one and the average wait time highest is in the uh, generic medicine. So we will see this. Then we have this interesting chart which you can see is impacted by the colors. So emergency admission type by speciality, but the color coding is based on the wait list, right? How much wait you have, you basically have to do over here in terms of uh, minutes. Then what you have is the admission type by speciality. This is basically to understand your each and every department, right? And basically see that, okay, in general surgery, you have emergency, right? Which is 41%, wait list is high, 58%, and other admission method is very less, right? So you can go up and down as you can see, and over here, if you see in this particular department, other admission method is the highest, whereas emergency and wait list is pretty low. So this basically tells you a lot of good story about each of your department. So in this chart, if I just expand that in this chart, you can actually spend hours and hours try looking at, uh, you know, which department is facing issues and where you need to improve, right? Like this one clinical immunology, a lot of wait list, 95%. So what is happening over here? Is it something where doctor is not available or, or we do not have facility or what, what exactly the issue is, right? So that is the actionable insight, this particular dashboard tells, and uh, then we were going to create it right from the scratch. So first thing first is about the data. So the data, uh, where is the data? Data to follow it along with me, right? So uh, data is present over where it is. Yeah, so based on the link that I have given you in the description, right? You will land in the data sets folder. In the data sets folder, what you have is the data set sheet. Where is that? Yeah, there you go. So data set sheet, right? I'm just trying to maintain this because as you can see a lot of different data sets are present. So data set sheet is over here. In this data set sheet, you will find the, um, you will find this particular, uh, yeah, this particular data set. Let me move up. Yeah. Hospital in the row number two, the very first data set itself is the hospital data set that you can go ahead and download, right? Also, uh, uh, this after this, downloading you have a couple of other data sets as well and some of the things which i maintain so over here it is relatively much more easier you can filter it as well and find the information very easily compared to searching in data in this particular folder which based on your feedback so many users told me that it, they are not able to figure it out right so going back to our our data set or our dashboard seat sheet um, so ClickStance Desktop Hub is where I am. I have, I was showing you this particular one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new hospital dashboard. Okay. So that way you can easily uh, see how we can uh, create it right from the scratch because I'm creating an absolute new app. So this is where add data file, add data load editor. So add data file and uh, I have it already downloaded on my system. So I will simply go ahead and uh, connect it. And this file is the CSV format, right? So 
we will look it from there. Uh, the path is, I think, if I am not wrong, let's see, downloads, yeah, right, there you go. Okay, so what you have is basically this particular uh, main speciality or the department, right? So how many admissions are happening, how many emergency fees, finished, uh, not the fees, but female, uh, finished consultant episode, gender, unknown male, uh, mean uh, age, mean length of stay, mean time waited in minutes, and other admission method, planned admission, and the wait list that we are having, the number of wait list that we are having, right? So wait list or waiting list, waiting list, right? So we will going, we will basically, if you see this data set, this is in a pivotal structure. Usually in pivot, you have these values in rows and then these are the columns. And generally, when you are working with the data set like this, you will face a lot of issues because all of these are present as columns. So if you want to use it as a dimension to plot a chart, you will not be able to do that, right? If you remember the last chart, which I showed you, you will not be able to create a chart like that, right? Or you will be able to create it, but unnecessary, a lot of tricks and a lot of situation you will have to handle to basically work it. and once we have this unpivot, which I will show you, then we can do way much more better analytics. Plus, it is the standard best practice that we convert the long structure to a flat structure by unpivoting the data. Before we do that, what do we have is the total column. So we'll click on filters, add filter, main speciality, not equals to total. Okay. So this total will go away and you can see in the filter we have this option coming. Uh, you have these three dots or you have next. Clicking on next basically loads the data and that's where we will go into the data manager sheet. Okay, so in the data manager sheet this is where it is coming as you can see uh, over here uh, this particular sheet is coming and uh, let me go into the edit mode. I, I just clicked on this as you can see and I hide this data preview. So if I hide this, the same table is coming. So that is where I can go and change the name and stuff like that, right? So if you see I uh, over here, we have the option of unpivoting the data. Select the fields you want to transpose in rows. Uh, from the selected fields, row created in the field is the header and attribute field and the field data is the data field. So from here, and I press the shift button till here. Okay, it, I have to go one by one. All right. Uh, and yeah. Now we have this, click on apply unpivoting. Okay, so you have main speciality, then we will say it, we will call it attribute so that it is not that long and we will call it what? Value. Because in this you have admission, you have mean age, you have wait time. So value is the most common general name. So if you can see the numeric numbers are right aligned, the the text is left aligned that's usually to know that your data is good and and usable right so this is how we basically do the unpivoting so what you what we do is we click on save and load the data make sure you always load the data okay now if i come to the sheet and go into the edit sheet i get only three values which is attribute main speciality and value one more thing you may want to check is that total is not coming so yes as you can see uh, over here admission is the first one and if i go down yeah total is not coming so perfect that is good um, now uh, where i am sheet Okay, in this sheet, uh, we have this option new sheet, right, where we can say it um, hospital admission dashboard. That way it will basically 
change this to hospital admission dashboard right you have options for styling like uh, you want to change background you uncheck that you can select the color of the background and uh, so on and so forth so this is a sheet styling thing which i am keeping it right now i just wanted to show you that you have the option under the styling grid you want to change the grid sheet size responsive or custom and a small screen layout list view grid view so up to us what we want to do uh, i have think i have chosen the custom right and uh, this is based on width uh, i think uh, this is around 1500 because i needed a lot of space right so that is something which i can then play around with so i have this hospital admission dashboard um if i sheet properties and uh, where i'm trying to go is the uh, is the expression because we will basically develop a lot of set analysis expression in that all right so without further ado what we will going to do is start creating the kpis um so what do we have is basically the chart over here and if you see the kpi is present here and i will just reduce it and uh, i think uh, over here if i go i am not showing any filter over here because this is a static dashboard uh, just so that whenever a user is coming on a weekly basis, they can simply go and check it, right? I have the option of copy and then I can paste. Okay, perfect. So what I'll do is, uh, first thing first is uh, the total admission. So we will call it, uh, so there is the issue, okay? So we have the value, but the value needs to be associated to the right uh, attribute, right? So attribute value. So for this, when we click it in the data, we cannot directly add it. We need to add and go into the expression. And this is where we will going to write the expression sum. Sum of what? Uh, sum of value, but which value? So this is admission value. So for this, we will use set analysis by start writing it into the curly brackets within the uh, angle brackets. We will say the attribute is equals to an again curly bracket for the set analysis. And within this, we will put the value in double quotes. Uh, the value is admission. Okay. And I will copy this because I have to repeat this for all the different KPIs. Click apply. And attribute is equals to admission. Um, let's just see the data is correct or not admissions okay so you can see what correction we have to do right so admissions perfect now we have the value right once we have the value we are seeing that the label is coming whereas label is coming like this so over here we uh, what we can do is we can remove this label um, and over here in the appearance in the general we have the title right and in the title we have the uh, what do you call the total admission right total admissions that way we will uh, basically do the formatting in one uh, particular sheet and uh, change it in every uh, and then copy and paste the rest of the others now the next big issue which i faced it in the previous video as well and i told you that i will tell you in the next video is this particular title so this is a setting which uh, clicksense has uh, hidden sort of a hidden that i should say so what i figured out is in presentation you have the uh, styling and in the chart you have this option of show first kpi title right rather than doing anything else we just remove that right and that way we have it uh, we have this and we have font size that we can increase or decrease so i will just increase it because we have the a uh, lot of space okay so we have total admission right and uh, we have the title um, over here if you see the title color if you think it is uh, 
too dark then we have the option that we can reduce it yeah okay so that way yeah this much is fine so total admission is this so in the uh, in my previous video or the the previous dashboard which i just showed you for hospital this one is little dark so up to us what do we want generally we don't want a lot of attention over here by giving it a dark color that's the design best practice that you should know right but here i am keeping the uh, light color so that attention is on the number and not on the uh, title title is just there to read it and number is what you want to interact so now i have this i can copy and i can paste yeah and uh, this one is the um, so total admission then i can say emergency by just changing the value over here because like i told you we just set once kpi e m e r g can see 6.51 million very easy right then uh, we change the title click over here and we call it emergency admission perfect copy paste this time i did control c control v right and this is other admission method right and let's just say see in data manager the attribute value is should be admission emergency and other admission method so we need to do that can i copy this right click no i cannot copy this okay so i have to write it well thank you click sense for forcing us to write it other admission method right so i will right click copy right click paste yeah um over here uh, other admission method uh, total cons consultation c o n s u l t a t i o n okay consultation finished uh, total consultation if you see over here in data manager this is finished consultant episodes this is like a uh, people are coming in for consultations only um finished consultant episodes i hope i'm right yeah so total 20 million is the consultation that has happened in this uh basically admission uh, the hospital control c control v let's just total consultation and now we'll see wait list right and i'll just say what wait list right simply change this you can see how fast it becomes so wait list is coming zero that means clearly we are writing it incorrectly so let's see what the value is waiting list click over here waiting list uh was it a small n w a i t i w a i t i f g not l over there yeah 6.39 million perfect waiting list i can copy i can paste yep uh yeah i can copy and paste um and then what do we have after waiting list is the we have is the av meanage right so in the data manager let's see mean age and mean length of stay these are the two one we will going to create okay i'll just hide that after wait list we have average age this is much more user friendly 
mean usually people don't understand so mean age but over here this should not be some this will be g average 48 years right and in this case if you will see number and we will not have any decimal okay so average age is 48 years so now i copy this and paste it because same average i have to now use it for other one so average age and uh, what was the one i forgot so this is uh, average mean length of stay and mean time waited mean length of stay okay average stay mean length of stay mean length of stay that is 15 days average stay and uh, i'll just uh, see this i need to have some space so in the sheet properties custom with this 1500 let's say i do 1552 i get some more i get a box i don't get a box but what i get is all right so 15 um what do you have where, where have you gone i just clicked it on this let's call it what 1600 how about i just simply say 2000 if it is just way too much 2000 is i think too much 1800 is what i need probably yeah uh, and then we have to do the setting for unfortunately or fortunately uh, we don't get the option maybe in future when i will work in this more then i can tell you a little bit more about this as to how we can use it for our own advantage okay wow i get a lot of space <laughs> okay i will utilize this but again the issue is i got little bit of extra space over here so if i just go here and change try to change to 1700 i think i will going to get a less space in this case let's see yeah yeah let's just try to see if it is helping us um free flow method is much more easier in my view where you can freely flow into the dashboard like power bi allows okay so this one is good uh, okay over here average stay copy paste uh after average mean wait time so if i just go mean time waited um over here where are you sheet um average wait time mean time waited 52 minutes okay so that's the way we have our kpis ready that we can work and uh, easily move ahead uh, easily basically uh, work and copy and paste in probably i think 10 minutes or 15 minutes at the max we may, we may have taken but since i was explaining it once you are pro it will not take more than 10 minutes for you to do this okay well i will just review it admission wait list is 6.39 million and yeah these are all the average so average is there perfect sounds this looks good 
um, the next thing is uh, is about creating the chart so our chart is if you remember from the sheet is top five admission by speciality okay so in this chart and uh, bar chart which we will change it for our advantage and this is the one which will go down right add dimension dimension is what main speciality length of the bar is something we will uh, going to add as a dimension so this one we will paste it and uh, this is where we will say male okay then we will add paste the expression that we copied earlier the set expression and we will call it female the third one we will paste and we will the name is the gender unknown okay so these are the three that we will going to put it together uh, in the appearance we will change this to this one right um, this is where we have a scroll bar we don't want any so we are saying none okay and uh, we need the labels because that's what i like rather than access i want a proper labeling right um the grid line spacing uh, i grid line spacing i do not like so but it is not having any impact okay uh, other than that uh, what i need is the top five so in the data right main speciality is there limitation is there fixed number top five okay so these are the top five which is coming and calculated based on this particular measure right so it is showing you the top five but based on the male this is where you need to set the expectation and others are showing so you can uncheck and others will be gone one two three four five right so the first one is basically male second one is female and third one is the this one so this is how it is basically showing you that means based on the first expression if your first expression would be to show it by female then your first expression should be the female expression so depends on how you want to show this is what you will going to do so you will call it top five speciality by gender admission s p e c i a uh, top five speciality s p e c i a l i t y i don't know why it is giving an error s p e c i a LTY. Okay, this is uh, probably wrong because I was following this one. Okay, it is what it is. Uh, so top five speciality by gender unknown. So very clear uh, chart that we are producing. Then uh, what do we have is the average length of stay in days, right? So what we are going to do is again our favorite. Um, bar chart where are you yeah first one okay so i have space yeah i have a good space so why not utilize it so add dimension a main speciality add measure measure is this but what is that average length of stay mean length of stay let's see if i remember it correctly mean length of stay and this will be the average yeah perfect average length of stay by speciality okay we have this uh what do we need is is basically the appearance in the general we have the title average length of stay yes 
show hover over menu show details what is details allow user to choose the view details such as description which is fine um and in the presentation our styling is okay scroll bar none it will come like automatically over there we need value labels because that's what i always do oh not this one for sure data in the data we have uh, main speciality oh yeah in appearance sorry in appearance we have x axis and in the x axis we want to show label only so that way we get more space same thing we will do it here as well there is no point that we show the labels or an title as well so label only um and then we have the access over here uh, which basically tells you the the access uh, information left position scale medium wide narrow which is basically narrow will give little bit more space over there okay so we have that um and yeah this is our average length of stay i think that's what we are producing it over here as well right so only thing is what we are not doing is we are not basically putting this particular value over there which i believe is uh, uh let me just see so that should be the none and it will remove okay uh we have this uh i can expand this chart a little bit right and then i can copy and i can paste yeah i can move it till here so this time not the average length of stay but we will call it what we can call it average wait time whatever we like as a kpi that we want to show um mean wait time was that the one no that was not the one what is that so we have wait time like this we have wait list let's just show wait list i think this is making sense control a control c uh go on to this chart this particular attribute control a control v and we should have the chart so it's showing where the highest waiting is like general surgery gastroenterology and so on and so forth so up to us what we want we want wait list we can do that we want average age let's say if this is interesting we can simply copy this go down below over here and change it right so that will show then average age like general medicine 80 years is the average that means really some very senior folks or senior you know citizens are coming so that's the way so if we like the shot this is where we can keep it perfect uh, then what do we need is the another chart which can help us uh, the which can help us with the what do you call tree map to look at the various aspects of the speciality so main speciality by the emergency right measure i will add it we will call it sum and attribute in this case will become what the emergency because we are trying to show admission by emergency right and uh, we want to color code so in appearance show title and everything uh, presentation colors yeah this is what i was looking for not the automatic color a uh, single color by measure so our measure in this case will be um the wait list so what is our wait list is this one so if you go and see the data and see the expression copy this expression come back here in appearance color 
control A, control V and you see the impact. We have a biggest category which is general medicine. However, wait time is highest in general surgery followed by trauma, then this particular department, then this particular department. So this is the best part of the tree map that even though the category is smaller, it will show that uh, it has the impact based on what we are trying to analyze. And then we have the option of what we want to choose as a sequential color coding, diverging, so on and so forth. So I think this one is good. It is matching with our theme as well. So if I expand that, so I call it uh, emergency admission by versus wait list, right? So this is what the emergency admissions are happening in various different departments and the wait list. Wait list. We can say color code or something like around that, but this is where the user education basically comes in. Okay, the last chart, very interesting chart that we are trying to produce is the stack chart. Where are you? Uh, pivot, waterfall. Okay, in the bar chart, I think we can do this setting all together if I remember it correctly because I work in multiple tools. So that's why um, I start thinking like what exactly was the option because in other tools you have the options like Power BI. It gives you a different option as a bar chart for the stack bar chart. All right, so let's start pulling this up and uh, what do we have is the main speciality right and in this case if you remember if i go back in this particular chart right what we are doing is if i expand this we are only taking emergency other admission method and wait list so these are the only three categories that we need so over here in the measure uh, where are you at measure and I need to go in. So I will show you this attribute is wait list and uh, there is this emergency as well. So E M E R G E N C Y emergency waiting list and uh, there was something called as other admission method. So this this and this okay these are the one that we needed as a value first of all let's just check whether this value is coming like this okay so you can see that this is how the value is coming okay uh, in the appearance let's just see uh, we have general we have appearance okay so for us, the stack chart is not coming. So what do we need? We have to then basically figure it out. So one thing is going into the data uh, in the measure. Another thing which I will do is to bring it the stack chart is dividing this entire thing, right? And uh, we will call it what? Uh, total. total apply so it basically gives us the percentages contribution and let's see whether the stack is enabled for me no it is not enabled for me all right so what i am going to do is i am try I, what i'll do is so with this method i'm not getting it not an issue sum of value and divide by the total value okay apply and in the dimension i will make sure that i will not get the multiple dimension but only the three dimension three attribute values so i will use the if condition if attribute is equals to what is our attribute emergency e -E right that was our first attribute 
and uh, we had the or uh, attribute is equals to what emergency and uh, there was waiting list or attribute is equals to other admission method then we are saying main speciality otherwise we are saying null don't show anything so we have error in expression we have the emergency we are showing null close this uh, emergency or attribute is waiting list or attribute is this then show us the main speciality otherwise don't show anything i think this is the main speciality that we are having so it still shows the error is it because of this double quotation if i try to remember it um wait list let's just correct that and this this and then we are saying um we need attribute actually to show it in the over there attribute okay so now null and i'll bracket and close it okay perfect now it is okay so issue was the i was using the double quotation but it should be the single quotation that we need to use now we will see that if there is any error in this value or not we'll click apply right so we are saying that if attribute is all the these three then only show us this one so emergency waiting list other admission method so let's see in the data um over there other admission method okay other admission method let's see this um so this is few of the things that we have to take care admission method yeah and i'll just go and click apply so other admission method is coming but what i need is i need the uh, stack bar chart and i'm just trying to see we have KPI like map, waterfall and everything. I'm just trying and seeing that trying to see is that whether it gives me any uh, stack option or not because I need this bars, but I need uh, bars and the stack. So this should be our stack and this should be uh, these should be the this should be the stack and the bars should be based on the main speciality all right i can now recollect what exactly has the case so i copied this and uh, what i'll do is this one right uh, this will be your first bar so i will control x and i will simply say main speciality okay so we have to have two dimension in this case we have main speciality uh, which is this one main speciality good then i add and i put this expression over there and uh, for the bars if okay this one if attribute is this 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 then this okay so it is still showing and i am checking the so you have group by this one and bars is this one let me just one more time see this piece which is giving us a bit of a heartache and this is hold on okay right click delete and so these are our bars yes and our value is this and then we have adding attributes 
So these are our different attributes, right? And then we go in appearance, we say we want stack. So this is how the stack is coming, right? So all the ones are coming. We don't want everything in the data, main speciality, in the bars, we only need the less attributes and our attributes will be based on if emergency or attribute is waiting list or attribute is this then only this apply perfect now you see this is coming like uh, the overall the overall basically value that we are trying to show it over here the only thing is we need it 100% stack bar chart and not this one so for that uh, we need to come over here so we have sum of value the total and that's where we will have to specify for 100% stack bar chart we have to specify the overall length which is based on the main speciality total bar value so if you see what we are adding is a set expression so that means we are ignoring all of the dimension uh, when we are creating total that means it is a grand total based on this value so we'll click apply and you will see now we have the value right uh, we will just say include a null value and it will be removed and now our chart is coming so after a bit of a back and forth we have this and we will call it horizontal we don't need any scroll bar right and uh, we need the values for sure value labels is something what we need segment label is yes what we need total label we don't need okay and uh, the value will be based on the percentage so we have auto we have number in the number we have percentage and that we can test it right so this is something which is now coming to us the the these are a few of the things the legend and all we can remove it as you know from the appearance right so we have presentation y-axis we only need labels yeah and uh, on the x-axis we only need labels that way it is properly done so x-axis y-axis color and legend show legend title no we don't want that legend position uh, i usually show it at the top right so that people can very clearly relate it and title is something we can show um, main speciality admission LTY admission by especially the admission was especially admission by admission categories let's just keep it like this okay so now with this we have our dashboard ready slightly big in size yeah and uh, what it will do is once you will put it on the screen you will have to test it whether it is doing it the changing it or not another thing which i may try to do is in the sheet properties instead of we can call it responsive and say done edit and that way the chart the entire dashboard will come in one single page so that way we can design as many components as we want but as we will come out we will have it uh, the responsive design it will give us the output so i see that this value is coming now for you uh, the exercises to remove this and then think about it what are the other things that you can do that will going to help it uh, for this dashboard so we did a lot as you can see we covered the lot of formatting tricks tips and tricks we covered for a lot of the different charts the set analysis was the key in this dashboard that we were going to do that that we had done actually and uh, and this the 
the setting for this particular chart, the, the category setting, color coding for this, the setting for stacks over there, a lot of things is going on, right? So all of this and the tooltip, you can see the tooltip is not clear. So what you will do for the tooltip? Over here, the options are present. If you see, if you go in down below, you have the tooltips. So you have the tooltip as basic, but then you can define your tooltip that what should become measured on the chart, on the image, if you want to add any image and so on and so forth. So I am leaving it for you to explore this and uh, figure it out. The, uh, the tooltip for, for your need. Okay. So with that, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the session today and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.